Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And the previous episode, we ended up here, and I wanted to test catching the snakeheads here a little bit. I have a feeling, I have a feeling, that we're going to be able to get them, at least with this new bait that we've got, the frog popper. You can use the frog popper right across these lily pads, no problem whatsoever to catch the largemouth bass. I cannot see why you can't do the same here with this lure, as you know, with the snakeheads as well. There's lots of locations here with plenty of lily pads, so let's see what we can do about setting that up. Now we're going to go ahead and put the missions to expulsion. Let's see snakeheads with frog popper rainbow jump. That's the one we want to use. We need to get seven of those. So anything else here we might give a try, but I might do that off screen. But I really want to test this. Alright, this is going to be on this rod. I think it's heavy enough. And where would it be? It'd be on here. Here it is. Frog popper rainbow jump. We only have one of these, so we need to make sure that when we cast it that we don't have the tension up too much. So as you know, notice here I've got two notches. That's perfect for what we need for this. And we're going to, let's see, last time I caught them, I caught them right over here. I was fishing right over on this side. Now I might also try them down there as well, but we're going to give this a shot. Now this is a peak, so it should be a good time to fish for these. Now as you notice I've got the little three notches over in that circle. That's what we want. And we might catch largemouth bass too. <laughs> That's a definite possibility and probability. The only thing is, is that we are using that golden stringer, and it fills up kind of quick. I've noticed that. Let's try that again. This may try take a few tries. I don't know. We're, like I said, we're not quite in the peak just yet. But it won't snag. I love these lures for this location because they don't snag. There he is! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! I told ya! I told ya, told ya, told ya, told ya! Told ya, told ya, told ya! And this is got to be a snakehead. The amount of power this thing's got against it. The only other thing it might be was a unique largemouth bass. But I thought, yeah, I thought I saw a flash of gray. There you go. Wasn't that quick and easy? Snakeheads in an instant. There we go. Now I might try down here a little bit further. Right across, actually, right across here where that stick up is. Now, see, this is why I like Quanchkin. I like fishing with the popper. The Bullfrog popper. I love fishing with that. I also like the, the catfish that are here. And I've kind of mastered those particular species on this particular lake. Yeah, Dula said that he just didn't care for it that much, but he's a pike guy. <laughs> and the only thing you can really get here is chain pickerel and so it's not really his favorite spot, I think, for that reason, honestly. It's not that he can't catch them. It's just not his preference. And that's fine. I'm a catfish guy. Let's 
seeing some activity over there, guys. I try to move around because if you hit one spot too many times, you tend to overfish it, so to speak, I guess. I don't know. Well, let's go back to that other spot because they're not biting there like I was hoping they would. Ah, something did go for it, but missed. Ah, bass. <laughs> Told you. Getting largemouth bass is going to happen. Now, let me see here. I might try another spot, too. We are in the peak. We're going to make use of this peak, too. There is another good spot. Actually, there's quite a few of them, honestly. Let me put that away. Yeah, this is a good spot right here that you can try. Any other lure would be so snagged that you would never get it undone. But this, you don't have to worry. Come on, I know you're there. Quit playing around. Oh, that's, that's right. This is a cloudy day. Not the best day for this, honestly. A sunny day, they bite a lot better. Okay, there is another spot over here that I'm going to try here real quick, since that one's not working for me, like it normally does. That's not a bad spot either to try. But this one, you see this log right here? I've caught quite a few unique largemouth bass there, and I'm betting that I can do the same with these guys. I throw right, whoop, not where it's red, but right in front of it, that log. Yeah, apparently the snakeheads are being a little persnickety. There we go. Yeah, this is a good bowfin spot. Figured eventually one of them would would hit. Of 
question is, is this is a really good spot or just a sort of good spot? <laughs> I don't know. But that's two. Uh, I got five more of these to get. I will tell you, you're going to be working very hard to get these. They're not quick and easy. You will cast quite a few times sometimes. And sometimes you can cast one and you'll get one and two and sometimes even three right after another and then nothing for a long time. So you got to be patient. I have noticed that most of the time though once you catch one you don't for a little bit. Yep, just be patient guys. Keep at it. You will get them if you spend the time. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classics. So until then guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.